I think it's been a good season, clearly. I mean, we're still leading for jockey. Standings overall, we're still first in averages, and we're third in that, in the uh, earnings. So clearly, it's still been a great year. Eight G1s on the year for us, 30 wins. I mean, it's, it's been a really good year. Despite some of the lackluster performances I've had, it's been a really productive season. And next year, we're going for a lot of titles and championships for our horses that are still here that we don't retire for breeding. So it's going to be a really busy season. Flying Cowboys up in his first G1 test. It's the Young Crown Cup. Now, it's a pretty competitive field, honestly. Like, every horse up until the top 10 has a chance to win this race if they run it right. Far Pride, the 13, is the favorite. We have Arden Image. We have Careful Marlin, our movement. Gray Line. But Flying Cowboy, we're second favorite. We have a chance to beat Far Pride, but that horse is going to be tough. That horse is going to be setting the pace. So maybe we can get the jump on Far Pride into the stretch. Because if that horse stays in the lead, it's probably going to be tough to catch. So we're And with Flying Cowboy, he does have last corner leader and stretch burst. It depends, I guess, which ability we want to unlock. I feel like stretch burst usually kicks in when you're kind of head, in a head-to-head. -head. The last corner leader, obviously, you know, that kicks in when we are first entering turns four, basically. So I'm going to have to judge Far Pride's pace and see how that horse is responding and decide how I'm going to move. So more stats are unlocked. All the stats on the right side. 65 toughness, 52 heart. 71 staying is good, which I've noticed. Flying Cowboy, he, he's easy to work with. He really is. Especially since I can keep him at the back. He's comfortable back there. So yeah, uh, if we run this right, we can maybe catch the favorite off guard. But uh, we're going to have to be really, really careful about it. The horses. we go free Aquarius she was one spot off photo finish away from getting her first G1 Ken flying cowboy her stable mate be the first the horses are in the gate. I guess we'll have to wait and see and they go. get him out hold him back get him out hold him back he knows what we need to do he knows what we need to do course i'm gonna make sure i keep him in a position where he can make a run plenty of time left to adjust i'm gonna move him now now send him to the outside here and get him up into position this is where i want him i don't want to deal with the inside i just can't deal with it it's not worth it man this is just my running style as a jockey like people may not like it but this is just my preference some people clearly may prefer the inside and like to stay more tucked that's fine I will take the inside when I feel like it's free and it's open, but too often in this game, I don't know what the AI are going to do. I'd rather not try to win the predict the, the Gout Racer AI game. I'd rather not try to play that game, so I'd much rather just stick to the outside. And if the inside is free, I will take it when it's available. But like if it's not, I'm not doing it. A far Pride, he's up there. We got to get going here with Flying Cowboy. We're going think we have the favorite beat around the corner. We have the favorite beat around the corner. Can we get last corner leader? We get it. We get it with Flying Cowboy. He's staying out in front. Far Pride not going away. Furlong left to go. I don't think Far Pride's got it. I don't think the horse has got it. Flying Cowboy, a perfectly run race. And we get him his first G1 as a two-year-old. Let's freaking go. What'd I tell you? We get Far Pride beat on the corner and Flying Cowboy cruises away to his first g1 win for us ah oh, it's a great victory man great victory for flying cowboy awesome photo love that look love that look and he gets it done he beats far pride by a length and a quarter what an effort what a ride here and what a horse and flying cowboy that is what i'm talking about that's exactly what i wanted Flying Cowboy from Western Tiger. Out of Suave Buster, mind you. Out of Suave Buster. Out of all the horses I'm running with now, I feel the most comfortable with him, hands down. I swear we haven't... If that's either our fourth win in a row, or at least that's four wins out of our last five races. And that's a G1 to, to kick off his career. Western Tiger and Suave Buster. I wonder if there's some 
if, if there's some magic there. Regal Soul, we're sending this boy out, three-year-old. Peaked quickly, but he's already won three G1s in this year. And uh, we're going to send him out with this grade three. We're expected to win it. He's carrying a little bit of a handicap, clearly, but no worries. We'll retire him, and um, hopefully he'll get some sort of award. I'm not sure what. He could get Horse of the Year. He did win three G1s and three good ones, but I'm not sure. I'm not really looking at Horse of the Year, but if he gets it, that'd be fantastic. If Irish Fleet got it, that would be great. But, man, what a great run for Flying Cowboy. So, so happy for that result, that performance. Ran that perfectly. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like I'm in rhythm with him. I did the same thing with Free Aquarius. He just lost out by a nose. She was just as close to winning her first G1 as well. You know what I mean? So, I feel like I am dialed in with these these newer horses now their leg types are amazing like finally i have the leg types that i want and i feel like it's helped make such a huge difference the stamina i still need to improve in future lines but we're working on that like i would love to get that leg type with stamina and the power and i think that's what irish fleet's going to be good for i hope now she does like to run in the front i'd have to breed her with i think western tiger I think. What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Regal. Why has this been happening? This has been happening to him ever since he's hit his peak. Is that a thing in this game? Because he's running. Per you guys are watching. He's running fine. He's not running hard. Okay. I'm not doing anything with him. And then he just gets upset. Like, why is that happening? Unbelievable. But yeah, Western Tiger has a pretty good leg type, I think. Or maybe it's Suave Buster. I can't remember. Can't remember who really has the great leg type. And they're in the home stretch. He's such a strong horse. You can pull away without even putting him under the whip. That's insane. Like most horses, you have to give them a couple taps. Regal Soul is so strong. You don't even have to put a couple of taps on him to get him going. He cruises to win his last race for us with ease. It's a good send-off for the kid. Not really. Well, I mean, yeah, he's still three years old. He's still a young boy. A very mature young boy he is. <laughs> he gets it done. But yeah, I'm looking at these leg types. Okay, Blues Breeze is normal. Night Breeze has that. Yeah, Honest Pegasus wanted to run towards the front. Yeah, Western Tiger and Suave... I think Suave Buster was more of a closer. So Western Tiger, he is a preceder, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Western Tiger is a preceder. So Western Tiger is a preceder. Suave Buster must be a preceder or a mid-runner. And that's how we get that leg type. So if I use Irish Fleet, her leg type is front that's gonna be that's the thing with irish fleet it's gonna be hard with her leg type none of our horses are gonna be up here that's the galliboard series we didn't even participate in that right but most importantly oh that's just the gallop world series not even the end thought it was okay regal soul time to retire you good old boy you've done very well for us and we'll replace it's a ghost. And he goes in with AA. It's about what I figured. Um, Honest Pegasus has a one last test here. Free Aquarius. She's good to go next year. Same thing. Well, Flying Cowboy, they want him in a G3. That's fine. Let's look at Flying Cowboy. He is six. He's five for six. And we've won his last five races. He's on like a five race winning streak and just won his first G1. I know maybe, maybe, I know maybe, maybe. <laughs> I was going to say, I know that maybe some people weren't really thinking much of him, but especially because of Suave Buster, but I think Suave was pretty solid enough to give us solid horses. And Western Tiger, of course, no complaints with him. I love this leg type. I love that I can really run him anywhere from like close to last till basically the second or third position on the track. He has so much flexibility. And I think more of that comes from Suave Buster. 
as opposed to Western Tiger, because Western Tiger was a proceeder. He wanted to be closer towards the front. I think Suave was a proceeder or at least a mid runner, maybe even a closer, but I don't remember. I know I could look it up, but uh, it takes so much time sometimes to find horses and individually. But looking at Suave here, and I don't forget, I don't, I will remember to breed with at least gold next year. I won't forget. Okay, Suave Busters. Okay, so that's her leg type. So she is a proceeder with a little bit of mid. Lee's Gold is going to be perfect. Lee's Gold and Western Tiger is going to give me, like, the best horse that I want. It's going to be a horse that I can run as a closer. That is going to be, I mean, as a mid to closer. That's going to be so nice. Um. So, yeah. Is it, I wonder if it's, where's Western Tiger? No, so her and Western Tiger together, both of their leg types, even though they're proceeders, it gives you a horse that you can really run as a mid runner. That's so interesting. Regal Soul, he wants to be in front. King B, Onyx Prince. Well, there's a lot of breeding I want to do next year. Western Tiger, I think I'm going to skip. We have two horses from him now on track. But I'm definitely going to do Regal Soul, King B, and Onyx Prince. I may do Onyx Prince and King B first. And let's look at our foals, actually. I, I need to remember who we already have. So Fiery Dancers from Sedate Ruler and Aunt B. This was Sedate Ruler's last foal. So this foal looks great. She's a filly. Knowing my luck, I may lose her. So I'm not even going to get like super excited. Because just my experience with Sedate Ruler's foals, especially if they're fillies, I've lost them. So I'm not holding my breath for Fiery Dancer. I hope maybe she can prove me differently. But wasn't, um, wasn't clear Pluto from Aunt B and Sedate Ruler as well? Or maybe she was from Night Breeze or Suave Buster. I think she was from Sedate Ruler and Suave Buster. Maybe Aunt B will be different. It's gonna, she's going to have a temper, so that's already not a good sign. So I might be holding my breath for this filly. I can't. This game has robbed me. Now this one is going to be interesting. Arctic Crop and Suave Buster. Now this should be interesting. Another filly chasing hearts. Five-star power. She's going to be very strong. Hopefully she'll have a good leg type that I prefer. Proceeder or mid. And um, who do we still have from Arctic Crop? Free Aquarius. Yeah, Arctic Crop and Suave Buster. This filly could be better than Free Aquarius who we're racing with now. Realistically. Because Suave Buster was much better than Night Breeze. So this could be a potentially strong filly for us. But that's it. So I want to do some breeding with Onyx and King Bee for sure. Maybe Regal if, if there's availability. We should have... Four broodmares by the time we get to breeding, because I'll be retiring Pink Gemstone by that point, I would imagine. Yeah, Pink is pretty much at her pink, her peak right now, but it is sustained. I'm assuming I'd be able to retire her as a five-year-old. I'd find it hard to believe if I. Could. Her speed is dropping. It was 86 previously. It's 84 now. I think she's slowly going to be on the decline. But we have three more races left to go. Uh, did I lose a horse? No. I know I retired Regal Soul, and I lost Violent Deanna, right, because I had nine. Okay. I feel like I lost a horse just now, but that wouldn't make sense. I've done well with everybody. Okay. So, um, we're down to our last four races, actually. Well, last five. I can't count. I keep seeing more and more pop up. Again, I think it's been a really successful year for us. Parks and move to friendly. That's not good, but it is what it is. Nine G1s. Can't believe Flying Cowboy got his first win with us. First G1 win. And we have, we're have five wins on that boy right now. We're flying with Flying Cowboy, quite literally. I wonder what his potential will be for us in the future. He's already on par to do better than King B. Crackle of Thunder. He's still kind of a mystery. I know I can do well with him, but he's also tricky and he has a bad temper, so... We'll see, but Blues Breeze, up in an open, easy race, easy win. Let's just get right to it. We're almost about halfway through this episode. I would like to get up to breeding. I think that would be a good stopping point, so that's going to be my goal. Western Tiger with the record here. And my goal is to get up to breeding, for sure. And I think Irish Fleet is a... I think she'll... I think she peaks at the end of this year, too. So I could retire her and Pink Gemstone. We could have a lot... I mean, we could have five broodmares to, to work with. And three sires. Breeding next year could be absolutely amazing. 
when I think about it. We really, if, I am, if I'm able to retire Irish Fleet and Pink Gemstone both, we can really breed with, like, everybody available. Honestly. And I think for Onyx Prince, I may just breed with him once and then just go ahead and retire him. I don't know if Honest Pegasus is ready to be retired yet. He might be. I could retire him as well. There's a lot of things I can do for breeding next season. I'll have to wait. Now, I don't like where we're at right now with Blue's Breeze. Like, I, I, I want to get to the outside. I need some, some space. This is exactly where I want it to be. Because look at how they're running. They're 2x2x2x2. Two by two by two by two by two all the way back to where I am in basically, what, 10th? They are 2x2 two two the whole way. Unreal. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out of the way. Plenty of space. We got our lane. And we're gone with Blue's Breeze. This 8 horse is going to try to fight us. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's pull away. Now let's pull away. <laughs> I know that probably stung for the rest of the field, but I mean, this is a grade one horse running in an open. What would you expect? Good, easy win for Blues Breeze. I'm glad we didn't have a handicap, or if we did, it didn't matter. Easy win. Easy, easy, easy win for Blues Breeze. And I swear I'm only going to be using him for his stats. He has no abilities at all. I feel like that's always the... Don't you guys feel like that's my luck on this channel with our studs? Like, most of them are really good. And they retire well, but they have no good abilities. It's just purely just good stats, no abilities. So I'm happy that now that we have our created horses in the barn and we're going to start using them more. We're going to start getting more abilities. These original horses in this game that you don't create, these original horses just have great stats with like no abilities. Pink Gemstone, her last race of the year. It's a grade three. Hopefully this will be her last race I can retire her in. She's had a great career. I think she's definitely been the best Philly we've been able to have that we'll be able to retire as a broodmare when that comes. I'm hoping it's at the end of this season. We're supposed to finish third. Who else is in the field? Uh, we have Frail Bark and Major Flyer. We, we're tied with Major Flyer, so we really could win this race with Pink. But I already feel like her stats are on the decline. She's got to be hitting her Pink right, right now. As she turns five, I hope I can retire her. She's done very well for us. And um, let's try to go ahead and uh, get her a win. Could potentially be her last win, especially if uh, I can retire her after this year. Last Potential last race, potential last win. Good start. That's a good start. It's a good start, of course. Naturally, that's what you want. Uh, she doesn't have to compete for the lead. Just stay off of it, please. Thank you. Just stay right off the lead just a little bit. This is fine. Keep her to the outside, or keep her here, where we have flexibility to the outside. Because again, I don't know when the inside's going to free up. I take it if it's there. I don't instinctively think to go to the inside. It's just not my my racing style in this game, or any of these games. It's like, I will go for the inside if it's actually there. If it's not, I'm not going to waste the time. Now see, i got to move her out now. Good move. Good move here for pink. This is a great two. She should be able to win this with relative ease. And she's gone. We get a revolution, finally. We haven't had one all video. Let's see if we can go for the record. She has so much stamina left. I'm sure I could probably run pink a lot longer, but to be honest with you, I would much rather get her in the breeding barn sooner. I don't want to lose her. Like, I lose all of my other good fillies. I think she's done well enough. She has won G1s. You know, I could be... I don't want to be greedy and just continue to run her, even if she can continue to run. I think she's already done well enough to use as, as a good breeding line. We beat the record? No. But we went by seven lengths in that G2. Double S on everything. Bada bing, bada boom. Pink Gemstone is in the room. How are you doing? Shout out to anybody that knows where that actually is from. Irish Fleet, she's up in a grade two. I Potentially could be her last race as well. A lot of my horses are kind of hitting their peaks early. We don't have a lot of late developing horses anymore. Not like we do in uh, 2003 with Crimson Art. Irish Fleet, she's expected to win here today. Pretty much that'd be favorite. Zodiac Queen. You guys remember Zodiac Queen. She's our original horse we lost. And what is she? She's the second favorite. Where's she going to finish? Probably out of the money. 
Like, I know she's a good horse, but my gosh. She's average now. She's average and she's on the decline. She has great abilities. This is why I want to retire Pink Gemstone as soon as I can. Because this is what happens. My fillies, I lose. Now, I don't think Zodiac Queen is going to beat us. We've never lost to her. And I don't think we're going to lose to her. So, this should be a good win here for Irish Fleet. Zodiac Queen has never beaten us. I don't know why she's always featured with us. I really don't. Okay. And we're off. Decent start here for Fleet. She gets out early. And, uh... Would like to challenge this three. Who is that? It's not... It's Hunter. Okay, gotta get you up to the front a little bit more, Irish Fleet. She's catching. She's catching. Where is Zodiac Queen? Way at the back, isn't she? This three is running pretty heavy. Dear son, okay, this horse is supposed to still finish competitive. Competitively. Now, Irish Fleet, I need you to relax. Just I, just get past the horse. My goodness. She can really get ahead of herself sometimes. It's one thing I'm not a huge fan of. Okay. I tell her to go, and sometimes she's like, oh, you mean like this? And it's like, no, Fleet, like, not like that. Just, you know, just gradually get up to speed. You know, work your way into it. She just goes from 0 to 100, like, literally. Now, Zodiac Queen, she's nowhere to be seen yet, as usual. And they're in the home stretch. Dear son, rallying. Come on, Fleet, stay out on top. She's wild. She's wild. But, yeah, she's, she's, she's an interesting one. She's a great horse, but man, smallest things can upset her. And Zodiac Queen, as per usual, doesn't even finish in the top three. What a shocker, and look who wins, Irish Fleet. She is tricky. Does she have a bad temper? Because she acts like it, but I don't know if her temper rating is all that bad. Maybe it is. I think it is. I see the definition. See, Zodiac Queen, she finishes fourth. Ooh la la. Irish Fleet, she could be a spicy one. I didn't realize it. Abigail, she could be a spicy one. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's why I'm hoping I can retire at the end of this year. It's three back-to-back -back wins for us in that particular week. That's how we end the year, right? No, we still have one more race with who? With Crackle Thunder. Okay. Make sure everybody's ready to go. Fleet. Um, it's going to be like no G1s for her. Another grade two. The beginning of the year. Lose Breeze. Um, he still has some time, so not going to be able to retire him yet. Not like I thought. Just fine. He, I mean, he's a really good horse, to be honest. It may not seem like it, but he is. he's truly a good horse. I guess the best thing for him is a grade three in February. So, nope. Too much weight. We run him in an open. Still too much weight. All right. May have a little bit longer of a layoff. Grade two. I don't like the distance initially, but that grade two works fine. Two more races with Adonis, Pegasus, and Crackle Thunder. Or Pink Gemstone. Yeah, I'll run her in this race anyways in this grade three. But she's earned over 52K for us total. 25K in gold. She's won five times. And she's won two G1s. I mean, she's done well enough for an, a Gallup Racer original that I've created. Now, as far as her stats, she has grit, which is good. Her speed will carry over. Her heart will carry over and her staying. She is, I do like that she has a good heart rating. Her stamina is not great, but at least we know it'll be above the 50s for another horse. So I think she's ready to be retired if I can retire her next year. So let's get these two races out of the way. Hey, excuse me, would you like to challenge me into Winter GP? I'm Newman. No, Newman. Sorry. I don't do these things called rival challenges anymore. Not to say I'm better than everybody, it's just to say it's literally a waste of time and I could potentially lose my horses for engaging in your rival challenges. So no, I'm not going to do it. Crackle Thunder, he's up in an open. It's been a while since we've raced with him. This is King B's brother. We're the favorite. We should win. And, uh... His temper sucks, but he's definitely a sprinter, to say the least. 
So I wonder if he's faster than King B. Like, I wonder if he inherited more speed. I wonder if he inherited more of Ant B's qualities. King B was fast. Really strong, really fast horse. But I wonder if his brother Crackle Thunder is going to inherit more of Ant B's speed. And also have that temper. Which we've decided, we see he has the temper. Is he also going to be just as fast as she is with his father's speed in there from Desert Diver as well? Because King B was King B didn't have a temper. I never really had to battle with him or worry about him in races. Crackle Thunder, on the other hand, I have to be mindful with him. So I just genuinely wonder if, even though he's the brother of King B, obviously he came out differently with his stats. Maybe more speed, more temper at the same time. Get him off the rough. Okay, 13 was going to try to challenge us. Okay, we're still clear. Still clear by a country mile. My goodness. And Crackle Thunder, he is still clear out with a furlong left to go. Didn't even have to tap the whip once with him. I know the two is coming, but we don't need it. Wow. I mean, he's a grade one horse, obviously. That's just an open. But um, to win that easily without having to tap the whip once still, I mean, that that's also a very good sign. So Crackle Thunder looks like he could be rivaling his brother in regards to his status on this channel. And the green, gold, and black of Crackle Thunder gets a win. It's what you like to see. No complaints. Hey, honest Pegasus up in a winner GP. It's going to be a tougher race. We still have a chance to win, but we have Pink Amber Country Bowl. Stable style. Fresh party. Again, always. Spend the year of fresh party. Thermal oil in this race. It's going to be a tough one for Pegasus. And ultimately, what I'm going to have to do, as I feel like he's going to... I'm going to be able to retire him after this race. I need to finish in the top five, so I have to take this seriously. I need to keep him a little bit further towards the back. I've been running him in two close towards the front and it's hurt us i'm going to keep him to the back and i'm going to see how he competes i think he's tough enough to be able to compete with the rest of these horses at the right time i do i don't know what his other ability is last corner leader would it be stretch burst did i lose it or had it i thought he had stretch burst maybe he doesn't but yeah i'm just gonna have to be more patient with him i've been sending him to the front too soon and he's been gassing out i'm gonna have to wait and we're gonna have to fight here with honest pegasus hopefully his last race and hopefully i finish in the top five to make sure i just don't lose him i didn't save so if i lose him that would really 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 suck but i'm not gonna go back and redo all this progress no way i just need to actually do good with him here and most importantly try to win this race desert diver has the record here. Fast horse, man. Desert Diver really was. So was Western Tiger. Both of them are like so similar. It's, I do get them mixed up. They ran, they had similar leg types, same speed. Now, again, with Pegasus, I'm going to keep him a little bit off the lead here today. A little bit off. Because I, I really do think our best chance to win this is to fight for it. Save stamina, save ground, let those horses tire themselves out. And we'll fight and we'll fight them at the end. I wholeheartedly believe that is the way to go with Honest Pegasus here today. I need to save as much stamina with him as possible. This is 12 and a half furlongs. I, it might be within his range, but his stamina is still pretty low at 61. So this is not going to be ideal for the position ranking. He needs to be closer towards the front, but I'm trying to save as much stamina with him as possible. And that's not he's not gonna be happy about that. But um We're trying to do damage control here. I could have kept him closer, but this is a long race. I still don't I mean, I know his stamina is 61, but I don't know about this distance. I've never I don't can't recall racing him this long before, so I'd rather play it safe and just keep him at the back. Risk not getting a perfect grade on the positioning. I mean, we've won plenty of races without being in the right position. It's not always the problem, especially with a really good horse. He's max stamina, so I think that's a good sign. And we'll just continue to keep him where he's at. Now, those horses up front are gone. And got to make sure he doesn't overexert himself back here. 
I think we just caught him in time. Fresh Party is at the front. Could you imagine a Fresh Party is able to win by running that far ahead? Is he really that good of a horse in this game? Now we're still good with Honest Pegasus. We can still threaten here. Three furlongs left to go. I'm going to give get him on the move. Going to get him on the move here. Going to get him on the move. We're going to challenge Fresh Party. Here we go with Honest Pegasus. I think we timed it right, hopefully. We're up there. The three is still there to the inside. No last corner leader. The three is still kicking away. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> but I think this is a great result here for Honest Pegasus. We're still going to finish at least third. I'll take it. We just lose out on the line. But, yeah. I guess that's as good as I can do with him. That was a long distance. He ran hard. He ran well. And we still finished in the top three. Yeah, fresh party we were not going to beat, clearly. Spurt could have been better. But, I mean, honestly, I don't know what else we could have done differently. I thought we got ahead of fresh party. And then that horse just fought right back. Still, it's a good result. And I think we'll be able to retire him, hopefully. So still two good results for Crackle and Honest Pegasus. I'm content with that for the end of the year. Fresh Party is up there for, for classifications for three-year-olds. Of course, Flying Cowboy made it for two-year-olds. Zodiac Queen is actually up there for four-year-old turf. And Tiger's Eye, of course, is up there for four-year-old dirt. So I'm, can't believe I lost him, but I mean, he's been long news. Fresh Party wins Horse of the Year. What I mean, deserves it. That horse is very tough to beat. But look at this. Pink Gemstone and Flying Cowboy both get awards. That is fantastic. Pink Gemstone. She gets the best older cult? Why does this game do this? I really think it means she won best older filly. And powerful meant probably best older cult, right? Regardless, it's an award. Weird one, but it's an award. And Flying Cowboy, he does officially get best two-year-old cult. So Flying Cowboy, the best two-year-old on the track for the boys. It's good to see. Now G1 helped them. Of course, we won this year for races won. 36 wins, 45% win average. We finished second for when, I mean, we always win in win average. Like the AI at the highest hit 30. In earnings, we finished third because I wasn't focusing on that. And we still weren't too far off. Thompson raced 226 times and her average is 11%. I guarantee you if I race that much, our, our percentage wouldn't still be 11. No way. So really, really productive and good year for us. I think overall, despite uh, losing two or three horses at that point, I'd lost count. Happy New Year, Kali! This again. Big records. Sure. I said this was going to be the year. Um, conquest of the normal G1 win three categories at the GWS um, I'm surprised we haven't gotten conquest of the normal G1 that would probably be easier to do but I feel like I have horses I can run in Europe uh, I need to look these up but I'm gonna do win winning three categories at the GWS so I would need a horse in every category to be dominant, which really could be our three newest two-year-olds that are now three-year-olds. <sighs> three categories of the GWS. I was going to aim for that this year, but again, Conquest of the Normal G1. That seems a bit easier, right? But you know what? I need to really push myself this season. And I think we'll still have two more two-year-olds that'll also be able to run. But can I even participate in the GWS? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to try it. I think we'll have horses in each category that can go for it. Two? No, not really. We don't have any long-distance runners. Once I retire Irish Fleet, I'm going to do Conquest of the Normal G1s. I think we still need one more year for total Conquest. So you're aiming to win all 30 Normal G1s? Um... No, can I change this? I don't want that. Win three categories. That might be more obtainable. The spring, the turf, and the dirt. Okay, that's exact. That's much, much, much easier. Yeah. So I'm kind of glad I thought about that. I didn't realize the conquest of normal G1s, meaning, I mean, okay, like winning every G1, every normal G1 on the calendar. Yeah, I would need godly horses for that.